Hello guys, how you doing? This is su amigo Alex, your friend Alex. So let's try to create a macOS Monterey USB boot drive. Why do I want to do this? So I can install Monterey on another computer, right? If you follow my previous video, I was able to copy Monterey from applications to documents. It's 12 gigabytes. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to move it to applications. Okay, I move it to applications. So now it's right here. The second thing that I need to do is I need to insert a USB drive. This is a SanDisk 32 gigs. So let's put it here and it says no name, right? We're going to format the drive. Okay, so we're going to search for disk utility and here you're going to show all devices. So here's my device, the USB SanDisk. You need to erase it and you're going to name it as my volume. My quest journal is fine. And here you're going to select GUID partition map and click erase and it's doing it you can see that the disk disappear and that appears again erase process is complete okay so we are done with this then i want you to open safari and you're going to search create a macOS bootable drive and it's right here create bootable installer for macOS. if for some reason on applications you don't have monterey you can go to this page it says how to download and install macOS. You click there and here you're going to see all the macOS that you can download. This is the page. I'm going to put a link on the description also so you can go there. But let's go back. What we want to do is we want to create a bootable installer for macOS. OK, so scroll down and depending on the operating system that you have, you're going to copy this, right? So we have Monterey. We're going to copy this. Select it. So make sure you copy the whole thing, all right? Right there. Command C, copy. And then you're going to look for terminal. That's terminal right there. And you're going to paste it. Command V. Then you're going to click enter. They're going to ask you for the password. When you type the password, you're not going to see anything. Okay. Enter. And then they say ready to start. To continue, we need to raise the volume. You need to type yes. Click Y and then click enter. And now look at this. It's erasing the disk. It's going to format it in a way. Yes that you can boot your computer with this USB drive and install macOS Monterey. So once we finish, what we're going to do is we're going to restart the computer and we're going to press the option key and you're going to see the options to install Monterey. So finally, after a little bit, so it take a while, I will say five to 10 minutes to make the disk bootable. Okay, after this, now we are copying uh, Monterey to the disk and you can see the progress, zero, 10%, you know, it's going to continue like that. Yeah, so this is going to take a while. Okay, guys, so we can see here that we are 90% done. It's going to finish really quick. 100%. They don't say done. They don't say nothing like that. Remember, it used to be my volume. Now it's install macOS Monterey. I'm just going to quit this terminal. Let's close this. Do you want to terminate running processes? Terminate. Now let's do something. Let me restart the computer and I'm going to click option. So you can see what I'm talking about. We are restarting the computer with the USB drive install. And we're going to click option. When you click option, you're going to have the option to boot from your hard drive or to install macOS Monterey. OK, this is the beautiful thing. So it's done. It's working. You just select here and then you click enter. That's it. But in this case, we don't need this because we already have Monterey. But if we want to install it on another computer that doesn't have Monterey, then we can use this. OK, you're going to click enter and the disk is still there. We're just going to eject it. Eject install macOS Monterey. And that's how you create a bootable disk of Monterey. You can do the same thing with any of the macOS operating systems that Apple is offering you to download. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you want to support what I do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's the best way you can support me so I can continue doing videos for you. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next video. The other way you can support me, guys, is I'm going to put a link to this 3Disc for $16, $17. I'm going to put my affiliate link to Amazon. If you buy from a link, you're going to help me a little bit also, you know? Thank you.